All right, everyone. So Patrick Beverly is one who's known to talk a lot of crap. And he does, you know, he does back it up. He gives it all his effort. He plays 110% balls to the wall, especially in the defensive end. And it seems like no matter how many times, you know, if he makes a mistake or if he's getting cooked on offense, you know, the guy never gives up. He's right back in it. Same fire, same intensity. And that's admirable, right? At least I'd say that's very admirable. So after they won in game five, you know, he was talking a little bit of stuff about Tyrese uh, Halliburton. And so after the win, he quote tweeted a video of Patrick Beverly, you know, talking. And he said, con man flip from above the rim. Now, I didn't know what this actually meant, but an article from Fadeaway World had this to say. In case you don't know the context here, Flip is a character in the movie Above the Rim, who was described as a homeless crackhead who played basketball in high school. Flip wasn't great at basketball, but talked a lot, which is basically what Lillard thought of Beverly. So you may be wondering, well, why did he say, why did the article say Lillard? Well, that's because in 2023, January of 2023, Damien Lillard said, con man, flip from the above the rim in context against something that Patrick Beverly said about Dame. So it's just funny now that Beverly and Lillard are on the same team. So Hal Burton uses the same quote that he used all those years ago or all these years ago last year against him. Now, look, I like this shit talk on both sides. You know, as long as you go out there and you play hard and you don't, you know, get frozen by the moment you go out you play hard you try to win this shit talks fun you know as long as it's nothing crazy over the top in terms of like you know in a personal level that get that goes too far this is all fun in games right and it's good it's competitive get your juices flowing so now Hal Burton you know he's given it look the Pacers won the series he's given it to him I feel like the Pacers should have a little bit of um you know like context here the fact that they lucked out with no Giannis and Dame. Doesn't mean that I know Dame played a few games, but you know, for the important parts of the series, they had no Giannis or Dame. And I understand that you know injuries happen, and there's still a world in which the Pacers win with both of those guys in the lineup. But I think they should keep that in mind and don't lose the competitive drive because they could lose in the next round if people are going to look back at this round and say, look, if they had Dame and Giannis, you would have lost. So we'll see what ends up happening, but I thought this was a pretty funny thing. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.